Oh shit, he's a nice brown. Nice brown. Woohoo! Fish in the boat. Nice fish. Hey, you think it's gonna rain? Well, here we are going fishing. It's been beautiful weather all week, and as you can see today, that's just uh, not the case. Today's another cold day. It means there won't be a big hatch like last week. And uh, last week, the hatch kind of put the fish off the bite. Speaking of the devil, there is the Franken boat. <laughs> Looks like the canopy's still up. It made it in my house anyway. He's probably going 30. All right, she made it to my house. Yep. We only got, I don't know, what, 30 miles to go, so <laughs> it should be okay. I think it'll stay. Spring hits the Northwest with an explosion of life. Longer days mean warming temperatures. Warming temperatures mean warming water. And warming waters mean for some crazy good trout fishing. Healthy bug hatches attract small fish to the surface. And at rock, small fish mean bigger fish. In my experience, early spring is the best time of year to catch one of Rock Lake's legendary German browns. However, rock is like the proverbial box of chocolates when it comes to size and species. I honestly think this is what keeps seasoned anglers like me coming back again and again. Oh, 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 there's a fish oh, oh, though. There's a fish. <laughs> On the rod. Ah! <laughs> <Here. laughs> uh, Alright, manual, manual style. In a thunderstorm. He's still there. He's still there. <laughs> Can I rotate this and see what I'm filming? Or how does that... Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Little brownie! <laughs> oh, nice! What is on his throat there? Yeah, all right, we're gonna let him go. He's a small guy. I'm gonna try not to even touch him. Come on. And he's gone. Just like that. What? It's on. What? Oh my god, he hit it when I was trying to set the planer board. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you, we ripped the planer board out of my hand. Damn. What is he? Is he a brown? Is that a nice guy? Brown. Brown, yeah. Oh, oh, fish on me. Double, double, double. Not that tiny. Double. Oh, double there! That just snapped that off. Wow! It just throttled it. I heard it. That was... Oh, oh, oh! Come on, you have a fish on? It's a little harder to do there. Oh yeah, there, there he is. Look at him. <laughs> Just as we're about to pull up. You know they're going to do that every time now, too. They're going to do that every time. Fish in the boat. That's about the same size. I think that's the one we lost earlier. Yeah, that's about how we drive. I would pick it out. Ooh, he might be bigger than we thought.
looks like fighting funny. Back dragon? Okay. Oh wow. He's keeping pace. Oh shit, he's a nice brown. Nice brown. Do you need some help? I might need assistance. Here. Nothing like fishing in a thunderstorm. When you get a chance, reel that camera up. Holy! Whoa. <laughs> Woo! Are we gonna die? That was a little close. <laughs> yeah. Should we be getting off the lake? Oh man. I knew it was a good idea to set that out a little farther. So right now we got all of the uh, fish around us are actually on a hatch. We can see them rising all over the surface. God, he's just like beefy. I don't know if he's snagged or what. He's ripping a line out. Golly. I think you got a good fish on there. You'll probably take that bell off. <laughs> I can reach it. Bam, just like that. Woohoo, fish in the net. That's a nice rainbow. That's a fatty one. With thunderclaps too close for comfort, it was past time to hightail it home. Sifting through this old footage makes me realize just how lucky I am to have such a great recreational opportunity practically in my backyard. No matter the year, no matter the season, rock produces fish as enigmatic as the lake itself. It might take a lifetime to learn the lake's secrets, but I'm okay with that. Tight lines everyone and we'll see you on the water.